absolutely love Cajun food. So when I heard about the hottest new local restaurant, Will Fong's Cajun Shack and Oyster Bar, I had to get in touch with the restaurant's head cook and owner, Stephanie Will Fong, to show me some of her tricks. Things may get a little spicy today, which I'm excited about, so stay tuned on Southern Fried Skinny Fied. I'm glad to get out here and talk to you. Well, come over here under the porch and we'll figure out what we're cooking today. Stephanie, thanks so much for coming out to the ranch today. I love Cajun food and I hear you're on an eat clean mission and so you're gonna show me a Cajun jambalaya recipe? Yeah, it's an eat clean jambalaya with, with uh, quinoa. Well, I can't wait to try that. Um, what vegetables do you think we need? Onion, garlic? Onion, garlic, mm -hmm. and some zucchini. Okay. Yeah, it, does Little John have shrimp? They do. They probably just got a fresh shipment in this morning. All right. And I think they have the Gulf shrimp too, which oh, will be good. good. Yeah, good. I like those. Okay. I'm going to make a healthy version of banana pudding, and I have bananas and everything here. So I think we're ready to go, Little John's. All right, let's go. All righty. So Stephanie and I stopped by one of our favorite local farmer's markets, Little John's Produce, to pick up some fresh ingredients for our quinoa jambalaya. All right, we're here. I love Little John's. Their produce is so fresh. It always smells so good in here. Yeah, I, I uh, used to come here back when I was in college and get uh -huh. all kinds of pickled hey, stuff. Hey, Paige, how are you? Why, well, Stephanie? Good. How are, how are you? Hello, oh, Paige. Oh, good. Stephanie, it's been a while. Yes, sir. How's sure the uh, restaurant going? It's going good. It's doing real good. That's great. We were going to we were gonna stop meat the other night, but it was too full. <laughs> sure didn't like standing in line. Yeah, it gets busy. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's it's busy, good thing. isn't it? It yes, is when all the yeah. people come out. What are y'all yeah. cooking today? Well, obviously, I got to make something Cajun-inspired because Stephanie's here, and uh, she's been on a health kick lately, so we're going to make a quinoa jambalaya, and she brought her own andouille sausage that she makes, and uh, it's going to be really good. Do you know what quinoa is? No, ma'am, but I'm sure we're going to learn. <laughs> yes, you are. Another healthy food. It's kind of a substitute for rice. It's another type of whole grain, um, but it's packed with protein, and it's really good for you, and it'll be good for after our workout. Is it going to be on the menu? We're thinking about it. I hope you put it on there for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got to have some healthy items. Yeah, and I'm also going to make a uh, healthy banana pudding. Healthy so, banana pudding. I love banana pudding, <laughs> and my mom makes it, but it's full of sour cream and cream cheese, so it's really fattening. So I'm going to experiment and try to make some healthy banana pudding for dessert. All right, well, we're going to go get our ingredients. All righty. Thanks, y'all. need anything, holler at us. We will. Yes, we okay. Thank you. All right. All right, Stephanie, I know you processed and brought your own uh, sausage, so I think we just need some shrimp from the meat department. Shrimp, get some green onions. Do you mind grabbing a few of those Vidalias? I sure will. Mm-hmm, I love sweet Vidalia onions. All right, what else we need? Look what I got. You don't, <laughs> I jacked these from Mark up there. He don't know, don't say anything. <laughs> they look pretty good. They do look good. <laughs> mm hmm We better get some bell peppers, and I like orange ones the best. What, I love orange bell peppers. What flavor do you notice versus other bell pepper colors? Like uh, the green ones, got just a more of like a peppery taste. Those are okay. sweeter to me. And the red ones have a totally different, I don't know, it's just a different flavor than those. Those are just real sweeter sweet. Ones. That sounds I can good. just eat them like an apple almost. Yeah. So. Well, let's get some apples for the horses, actually. All right. I wanted to give them a treat. And I didn't we'll know get... we could get to feed the horses today. Yeah, we'll get some carrots for them, too. And then I'll grab a few lemons, because uh, I feel like lemon always enhances the flavor of some Cajun food. Yes, it, it really does. Garlic. We need big old giant garlic guy. It is giant elephant garlic. I think we need so three will do us good on those big old things. Oh, and then smell these. How good does that smell? It smells real good. Every time I walk by, it gets me. I'm gonna get some and make a cantaloupe agua fresca for us. Is that right. good? I hadn't had that before. I'm looking forward to it. Good. And then I think we need zucchini. Yeah. For our recipe. And is that everything? Looks like it. All right, let's head out. Let's get some more cheers. Yeah. Stephanie, you brought this sausage yourself, uh, and it's been smelling so good. How did you make that? Uh, uh, 
mix it with pork and venison and season it, and uh, we, we put a little scald on it so we can cut it. And, but venison and pork and, and just uh, seasoning, I can't tell you all, all the seasoning in it. But you got a secret? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I don't want to share that. But. <laughs> So if people don't have access to venison, pork, mixed sausage, just a low sodium, like lower fat turkey sausage. sausage or, or mm -hmm. yeah, something like that. Make it healthy. All right, well, I'll start cutting this for you. If you want to start on those veggies. Yeah, I guess I'll pull this onion first. Okay. There goes the bell pepper. <laughs> now I'll make a wreck of the kitchen real quick. So. Yeah, me and you both. <laughs> I saw you all ago, this. Good job. Thanks. So we're going to saute some of our veggies in their skillet behind us with a little right. bit of this juice from the um, sausage. Maybe add a little olive oil if we need it. Okay. We'll see. Paige, I'm going to have to be honest with you. I think this is the first time I've cut veggies with a cleaver. <laughs> Here, let's switch. <laughs> I need the meat cleaver. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there we go. I was just thinking about that, like this isn't, is this isn't right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had to test your skills, butcher skills. I figured figured you'd need a meat cleaver. Well. Okay, so we're putting our veggies in our pot. You want to get that bell pepper chopped up? Yes. Okay, I'll get these back in here. All right. Going. So, I mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that all this eating clean and healthy and stuff uh -huh. like this, I really like it. And uh, but if you think about it in the long run, when you when you're when you're gaining weight and you're overweight and you st and you start getting like diabetes mm -hmm. and, and high blood pressure and all that stuff like that, then you're spending money on medicine and, right. and stuff like that instead of. You could spend it on your groceries and it'd probably save you a lot of money and, and feel better and just right. have a better way of life. Give me half of that thing because you've yeah, got slow. a slow I, chop. I, I, you I need your you. slap chop back. i got a slap chop. We get a, <laughs> I'm not used to chopping every day. I've got them hands and I've got a really good set of hired hands that work for me. and. They work hard, but we try to. We have so much chopping to do that. Yeah. The old school way is out on that. There, I did like 50 to your wood. I know. <laughs> I told you, I'm not much of a chopper. I'm not oh, even gonna goodness. act like I am. Now you need this meat cleaver back. Because it takes too much focus, and I'm worried about my fingers, <laughs> especially with you and that cleaver. My meat cleaver. <laughs> I love that we're putting zucchini in here too. It's a really healthy summer squash vegetable that we're yes. using. So I'll add these to the pan and you can grab the sausage. Okay. All right. It's time to get the shrimp in. 